guys so i'm back with another video i thought i would record today so today is going to be a very productive day we just got eight boxes of new arrivals in and i'm here by myself cat's not going to be here until one o'clock so i'm just gonna show you all like what what i do or what we do to put our products out so that's some of the boxes over there and then i've opened up two boxes already and then that's one of the sets that we just got in and like we got some new shackets like our shackets have been selling really good so if you don't know what a shacket is it's like a jacket but it's a shirt and it's flannel like i don't even have one out right now to even show you all but they look like these but thicker it could be a jacket like our flannels have been selling so good so i just got that one in and a black and white and i had to order three more we got a red one coming, another brown one, and like a blackish, pinkish one coming. Like, you guys, they've been selling good. So, if you want to see what they look like, just check out our website. So, this is one of the new sets that we just got in. It is so cute and comfortable. I'm going to open up this box because it's one of our holiday um, outfits. Okay, so this is one of our holiday dresses. I look bad right now because, yeah, I wasn't planning on dressing up today and all that because I knew I was going to have a lot to do and I wanted to be comfortable, so. But this is one of the dresses. This seems really cute. Kind of made of that silk satin material. And it's got the little cutout right here. This is cute. Bodycon fit. Why, of course. I'm gonna set that there. any other business owners that are watching my channel how have y'all sales been since this whole pandemic thing in store online whatever let me know in the comments because as far as in store first we were doing good but things it has slowed down a little bit i will say for in store it's hard getting people in here but <clears throat> Online sales are still, they're okay, they could be better. Like I said, for me, online sales are pretty hard. Like we're not getting consistent sales like every single day. It's like every other day. But we are getting lots of views to this site. So I'm like, I don't know, what is it like? Is it, they don't know. <sighs> it is or how it's going to fit like I feel like I've done everything to try to help people find the information that they need on the website like we have a size chart I have pretty good descriptions I must say but you know I thought about adding the size chart to the product pages that's one thing that I thought about doing but I don't know how to do and I don't know how to figure that out yet Oh, and Facebook ads. My goal this year is to really get into trying to figure out Facebook ads. So if you have mastered Facebook ads, I need some help. I definitely need help. I think I need one of those tables. Cause I don't know shit about Facebook ads. Still trying to figure that out. Um, let's see what else. How was y'all's Black Friday sales? Black Friday for us in store was pretty fucking horrible. Fucking horrible. I was definitely sad. Our in store sales on Black Friday was horrible. I was not expecting that. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect because, like I said, I've never 
had a store and then I've never had a store during this whole pandemic thing. So I really didn't know what to expect, <clears throat> but hey, we live and we learn. I've gotten over it. There's no point in dwelling on it anymore. But um, online sales were okay. I feel like everyone for Black Friday was shopping like online for like big stuff like TVs and computers and stuff like that. And then honestly, the malls were not crowded at all here. Like I, we went to the mall and you know, like the line is usually all the way wrapped around the building. That was not the case here. And I'm in Memphis, Tennessee and South Haven, Mississippi. I was shocked the malls were not crowded at all. <clears throat> Let me put this stuff. Try and hang that stuff. That's probably what I need to do. Okay, so clothes aren't everywhere. I'm just gonna unbag and hang and then tag later or another time later. Today will be the perfect time to have some help, but it's okay. I'm used to doing it all on my own anyways. But I had hired someone like I mentioned earlier, but she's coming in later. This set is really cute. I had, I tried this new vendor, but um, has really cute stuff, but their pictures, their product pictures are very sketchy. So I was very hesitant from <coughs> <coughs> about ordering from them, but I'm pretty pleased with my order. I am. This is really comfortable and soft. Yeah, this is cute. I thought it was different. I haven't seen anyone else like around here with any of this, so surely they don't know about this vendor yet. So I'm hoping they, you know, catch them before anyone else catches them. Or people get a wind of them. Cause they got some cute stuff. And it's really good quality. But, um, yeah. What are y'all looking forward to in 2021? I'm mostly looking forward to seeing where we go from now. Like, this is my first store location. We're located downtown. I honestly picked downtown because where I live, which is in South Haven, Mississippi, there's a lot of boutiques in that area. It's so saturated. <clears throat> so I kind of wanted an area where there aren't a lot of boutiques around, but I don't want to be here forever. This was just a start. I think I'm really going to try to go back to um, a different area of Memphis, like Germantown, because the traffic out here, I mean, it's good, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. We'll see. My lease is for a year, so I'll be here for a year until September of 2021, unless I decide to <coughs> renew my lease or find somewhere else to go. But who knows what the future holds for us? You know, I think it's going to be. Um, really booming down here though come the summertime i hope things are better by the summertime i really do like this whole virus thing 
coming. Yeah, this is literally okay. So let me show you this real quick since I'm on here. This skirt, we just got this skirt in too. This is like so cute. If you can see, it's like it's not leather, but it's not satin either. Well, it's a mixture. It's le leather and satin but it is so cute and then i was so surprised to see these belt loops this is so cute and it's stretchy which is really good but we just got that one in and we got this cute little silk satin dress the straps are adjustable and then the side ties are adjustable also this is so cute this perfect for the holidays and it's lightweight <clears throat> okay this set right here oh my gosh this is so cute on and then like look at the sleeve so this is the same material as this set right here that we just got in oh i gotta take those off i don't like keeping them stacked off but this is like i don't know what kind of material this is but it's the best material ever it's like cotton but let me see what does this tag say it says it's 50 percent rayon and 50% polyester. I don't know, but it's comfortable. And it's soft. <clears throat> and we just got this bodysuit in this is really cute with some high waisted jeans or some cute white joggers. Like if you like that tennis shoe type of style, that'd be cute with that. <clears throat> But, um, we have four giveaways planned this month. So the first one we were doing like a little nail giveaway, like, are my nails cute? So the girl that did them, I'm doing a giveaway with her. And then we're doing a giveaway with buff. Let me say it correctly. Cause I usually say bluff, but it's buff city soap. And have you all heard of the cocoa bombs? We found a lady. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. I've never had one or tried one, but I've heard great things about them. We teamed up with a lady that does them here. So we're going to do a cocoa bomb giveaway and a heated blanket giveaway. So if you all don't follow us on Instagram, definitely go follow us at Shop Silk and Honey for those because I mean, I thought those were really cute and I think people would be really excited about those kind of giveaways <clears throat> especially like for the holidays i really wanted something to something cute for the holidays and get people excited plus we're at 10 10.9k followers and i really want to hit 11k before january we can do it i know we can do it but um yeah okay so i'm done having these Probably gonna have to change these things out. Be right back. All right, it's gonna be full. So, <clears throat> tip, 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 tip. If you are a boutique owner and you don't have a lot of inventory to fill your store, but you want it to look full, use these hangers because they take up so much space. But if you have a lot of stuff and you have a smaller store and you want to fit more inventory, then use these hangers because you can get more on a rack with these thin hangers than these thick hangers. See? <coughs> I started with these because I didn't have that much inventory <clears throat> when we first opened. So I had to make it look like so it was full when it kind of wasn't even though now it's still not really full but <clears throat> it's still pretty good i think it's gonna be full now after all this stuff's coming in we sold a lot of stuff on um black friday because i had a 25 dollars in under sale trying to get rid of our stuff that we had on clearance that did good so i gotta cut little stuff off like this but anyways yeah hangers <clears throat> Use those. That'll make your store look cool. It's just a little tip that I learned.
Do y'all think people are going to be getting out for the holidays? Like for New Year's and Christmas? I think people are still going to be staying in. Honestly. <clears throat> so that's why I'm not buying too much glitter stuff. We only have, we have one dress that's like glittery sparkly and it's still here. We bought that like months ago and it's still here and it's cute. <clears throat> So I'm not, especially since we're still like somewhat new, because as far as when I was online, I couldn't buy stuff like that because it would sit. So I'm still like trying to figure out like what sells and what doesn't sell. Like for me, bright colors do not sell. Like red yellow lime I don't know why and I love bright colors I love bright colors but they just they don't sell for me like this red dress it's probably gonna sit but I still wanted to get a few holiday pieces in I got this red dress I got another red dress and I have another red sweater coming in and that's it I'm not buying anything else bright because it's it's just so hard for us to sell bright colors and larges oh it's so hard for us to move size larges and small mediums go so fast but largest i don't know i feel like it might be because we don't have like a model that wears a size large and it's hard to find a model that wears a size large also but i don't know I think that's what it is to showcase like how the largest fit in our stuff but <clears throat> I don't know we'll see what do y'all think the trend is gonna be for spring I think it's definitely gonna be like yellows like January February March I think it's still gonna be cold here up until March so we're not going to start transitioning until spring until <clears throat> maybe February because people honestly shop for how it feels outside. Not many people shop for a season ahead because we had got sweaters in so early and some of them are still sitting. So I definitely learned that. And then I shop for how it feels outside also. Like I'm not going to be shopping for our spring stuff right now. So that's one thing. And we honestly, we don't have, you know, we got a few sweaters. <clears throat> okay, so that's that. Let's open up this. Let me turn y'all this way. Let's get this stuff out the way. Ooh, oh, I thought that had a stain on it. a cute little basic top we have so many cream colors oh my goodness we were trying to stay away from creams but <clears throat> sorry about that found interruption Someone talk. back to this this video is probably gonna be long I'll probably speed it up This one top pretty freaking long. Well, I mean big. Like, but they say oversized is in, but that's very oversized. I don't know. I think it'll be cute though with like some jeans or whatever. Some jeans or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> so do y'all have like a plan when y'all mark down stuff like i've tried to do two markdowns a month like since we've gotten new stuff in we're definitely gonna do another do a markdown 
to move some of the stuff that's been here for a while, like some sweaters and stuff. But, um, larges, we're gonna mark them down because we have, usually when we have like two, one to two items left here that have been sitting for a minute, we mark those down. I start with 30, then go to 40, then go to 50, then that's it. If it's been here like over a year, that's when it'll go below wholesale price. Like some of our, like I do not like holding merchandise until the next year. I've heard some people do that, but I don't like doing that. That's money that's sitting. I don't do that. I at least want to make something. So, like, we have some spring stuff that's still here. I've marked that down to 10 and $5. I will not go below. I will not go below $5, though. But. Mm. Mm. I'd rather make something than nothing. Yeah. What's this? Okay, so these are our new shackets. Shackets <laughs> that just came in. This one's really cute. I love this. I like this one. I don't know. Ooh, it smells a little weird. Hmm. Do y'all wash y'all clothes? What's that say? What's that outfit? So we just got some new seamless tops in and I'm so freaking excited about these. Like, so these are the ones that I was carrying at first. These are like literally the best basics to layer ever. So we have this one in black, white, and like a new tan color. So we just got these new styles in and six different colors. Like... I'm excited. These are cute. They're perfect. We got some new jeans. These are like, these are super stretchy. They're kind of like that leather material. Can you see that? They're, they're leather, but they're like a denim leather. This is, this is cute because leather is in style this season. And we have some new skinny jeans. So I'll show you all those later. But two more boxes. Two more boxes. Oh, we were on the news yesterday. We was on channel. This is not what I ordered. Okay, so we're on the last box. The, the box that I just opened they sent me the wrong merchandise Ugh, i really hate that because <clears throat> i really wanted that set and i wanted it like today because i just i really wanted that set but it's okay so i'm gonna have to send it back they're gonna have to send me a return label so we got one more box left so let's open that one oh oh i hit my back Oh yeah, like I was saying, we were on the news yesterday. We was on channel five. It was pretty cool. So I am terrified at public speaking. I don't like talking. So of course, me talking on the news or them doing an interview on me was terrifying but i actually did pretty good i did good i really did like the nerves were definitely kicking in when they got here so i got a call i don't remember what day it was but i got a call that morning it was like around 10 o'clock and we opened at 11. no i got a call around eight i didn't call her back i didn't call the number back till 10 because i didn't know who it was and she was like, hey, I'm from Channel 5 News. I want to do a story on you all since we just opened up downtown Memphis. I was like, okay, I need to do this. We need to do this. This would be really good exposure for us.
because a lot of people don't know that we're down here, but I'm terrified to do this. So I was like, okay, yeah, let's do it. Because we need the exposure. But luckily, I hired cats. Like, okay, that's another thing. When I hire someone and I pay them, I'm not just gonna hire and I didn't wanna just hire anybody. I wanted somebody that could do a little bit of everything. I wanted somebody that was good at what I lacked. So I lack public speaking because I'm just terrified of talking in front of people. And so I know for sure that I wanted someone that could talk and that was good and they could think like that. So that's her. She's so good at that. So, Kat stepped in like she did. Yes, I was on there. I'm going to link the interview below so y'all can watch it. But she was like there, you know, to jump in when I got choked up. Because there was that point where I got choked up. And I was like, um. And she boom, 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 took over. So, that was good. Um, but yeah, we did, we did really good. We got some good feedback off of it. We got a few sales. We got a few new followers. I don't know how many people watched the news, but it was cool. It was good. I liked it. It was fun. Would I do it again? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't be liking the questions, you know, like, oh. Then of course it was like directed around businesses that open up during the pandemic and they asked about how our sales were and stuff and how was it, how's our foot traffic being and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm just not good at those kind of questions. Like thinking of an answer right off the top, like I can probably do it if you give me the questions beforehand give me some time to think about it but right off the bat yeah no because she showed called and i was like can you email me the questions y'all are gonna ask and she was like well it's just gonna kind of be off the top of my head you know and i was like okay cat i need you i need you <clears throat> so yeah that's how that went last box But it was, it was fun, it was cool, we did good. I cried, cause I just felt proud. And I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe we were on TV. Like, yeah, I low key felt a little famous. But, um, yeah. This is a red leather skirt. Skort. It's a skort. A red leather skort. This is cute. Look cutesy for the holidays. So now we got some red, we got some green, and we're done. No more red. is done check now let's see we just gotta finish hanging up all this stuff those are the other jeans right there that we just got in flannel cardigans seamless tops so i'm probably gonna put those tops on this table right here so this is what the table is looking like right now oh i changed the little seating area kind of kind of cutesy so i know this is bare but that wall has to stay plain because when we do like photo shoots and when i want just a plain white wall i use that wall so that wall cannot have nothing on it because it's just easier for me to just move this stuff in a shoot right there but um we're thinking of moving these shelves and putting our mirror a full length mirror right here and like putting some cute designs around it for like a little 
photo what are they called like a little photo i don't know a photo thing you know where people get in the mirror and they take cute photos and they can tag us and stuff like that so yeah that might be what they mean but i have no idea where we're gonna put those shelves so if y'all have seen my previous videos y'all saw these little tables up in the seating area so i just moved them back here for now close to the fitting rooms which that worked out pretty good kind of so when people are back here trying on clothes, if they have someone with them, they can sit right here. One of these tables are like so janky, but yeah, oh well. But yeah, this is what we're working with so far. All of this has to get changed and moved around. And I have no idea where to start because... I think I might change this rack to, I don't know, because there's some items that we have like twos and ones that need to get put on the sale rack, but we have like everything that's on the sale rack right now is $25 and under, but like that stuff isn't going to be $25 and under. It's just going to be marked down a little bit, but it's not a part of that sale. So I don't know if I should like take that sale off and just mark down though that stuff a little bit more, but I don't know. We'll see. Because I want like a limited quantity rack too. Like this right here, we have one of these and it's $45. Like this is not getting marked down, but I still want to take it and have like its own little area for it. Like, that's getting marked down. Like, this, we have one left. That needs to get moved to limited quantity. This, we have one left. Those are probably going to stay on the table. Like, these, these are probably going to get marked down. Those have been here for a while. This, one left, two left, one left, one left, two left, two left. These are both largest. So hard to sell largest. We have three of those left, but uh, two left of this skirt. But yeah, oh, look how cute these are. So our duffel bags were this pattern. They were really cute. That's really good quality too. Those are online, check them out. But yeah, we gotta finish doing this stuff. Right there, right there. All that stuff is new. I don't know. We're going to have to play with it and see. Let's walk outside. Let's see what it's like outside. There's our little sign. Tis the season to sparkle. And then on this side, we have our 12 days of Christmas. Christmas trees up. It's really pretty out today. It feels good. It was really cold this morning, but... It's, it's some warmed up a little, for sure. Oh, we got some black wool hats in. All right, so I guess we'll start hanging this stuff. I haven't even tagged anything yet. Yeah, let's go ahead and start that. So I'm going to turn you all back <coughs> this way. This is one of the sets that we just got in. Oh, I stepped on your little leash. Sorry. Okay, show it off. Do your little twirl. Okay. What do you all think of the top? She doesn't like the top, but she likes the I'm bottom. I'm crazy about the top. I just have a short torso, though. So, I don't like full-length top, top. Show them without a tuck so they can see how long it is. Yeah. I mean, the top would be cute with leggings. Yeah. But I don't think I like it. With but I don't even know if I would like it with leggings because it's tight. You do? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. Thumbs up. Uh, 
We just got in these bags. This is like the best quality ever. Let's see if I can get it open. Look at this. You gotta push the little button under here and then open it. Hey you guys, so it's the next day and I forgot to end the vlog. Oh, I'm so sorry, I got so busy and then so distracted. So let me show you all what we're looking like now. So this is how the store looks now that I've put everything out. I still have to dress this mannequin right here, but this is new, we just got this really cute new set in. Kinda redid this over here, we got some new hats. And these were at the front, if you saw in previous videos. So I moved them back here because I got some chairs and I put up there. I'm going to change the sitting area around a little bit. This rack, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. So this is what our back wall is looking like so far. Still, I'm not pleased with it, but it'll do for now. I'm probably going to change it by the end of the day. And then this is this rack. We got some new fedora hats. We got this black one we just added. This is our little holiday section right here. It's it's not much, but I don't really think people are going to be going out this year. Like, I feel like people are going to be going out, like, to eat and stuff like that. But as far as, like, parties and bars, I don't know. I don't just, I don't think too many people are going to be going out. This is what our display table is looking like. We just got all of these new seamless tops in. These tops, oh my gosh, the quality is amazing. And they look really good and flattering. And this part right here, you would think it would be like really tight around your waist, but it's not. These are our purses. So cute. Best seller. I've definitely got to restock some of those. I've already sold one and they haven't even went online yet. A lot of people are waiting for this bag and this bag to go online. I had this in black, but I sold it. A lot of people are going to be sad, but ugh, I warned them that you could come in store and get it before it went online. But yeah, this is what we got so far. Let me see. This set right here is new. It's really cute. It's like that knit material, it's soft. And then we have this skirt to go with it. It's cute, I love the little split on the side. This right here is so cute, this little cheetah jacket. Love that. And, oh, let me show you the front. So this is what I did to the front. I don't know, I'm not pleased with it, but it'll do for now. I know something needs to go here, but like I said, I can't put anything there. And I feel like that's what it is. Like that area looks naked, but I need that wall. So that's what we're looking like right now. So I'm going to end this video because today I have a lot to do and I'm not going to be able to vlog like this whole day. I know I'm not. I just have to finish putting up all the new stuff on the website. Then I'm getting one more box in today that I'm gonna have to like tag and price and put online and get ready for tomorrow. And then I still have to create an email campaign. Uh, I've just got a lot to do today. But you guys definitely check us out um, online. Check our website out, it's shopsilkenhoney.com. And y'all can follow us on Instagram at shopsilkenhoney. You can follow me at tessa.danielle with three E's at the end. But yeah, see y'all later.